welcome back to my channel, Mist of Knowledge. And here we're gonna learn something new that is the computer language Python. And we're gonna learn the basics of it. Let's see how it goes. First, we're going to go on the Chrome and type our link. Well, actually, I have put the link in the description box and you can go just copy that and go to your computer right over there. So let us search this. I'm going to paste this link over here and now I'm going to search for it. So you'll get this kind of desktop. So you could just go on and click the download Python 3.9.0. But if you want, you can just check on all the details. Now just go and click download Python. Okay, let's wait till Python is downloaded. So I said I will be putting the link and try to open the Python on your computer itself. See here it is downloaded. Let's just go and click that. It's in the bottom left side. Okay. It'll be opening. Yeah, here it is. Now just click on install now. And it'll be installing. And I think it, is, it has already been installed and now all you got to do is click on Python and there you will see 64-bit shell. So we'll be getting the Python shell. And you could either just do this one. You can write, here's an example, print and you can give two brackets. And inside the brackets, you can just try not to give so much space. And inside the bracket, you can put double quotes and write hello. And then you get the answer hello as an output. And or you could do this. Go to the files, click on a new file so that you can get a new file for yourself. And do whatever you want, like print, do the same thing, brackets, double quotes, and then hello. And then you got to do is sorry then you got to do is go and save this so i'm going over there and saving it i'm just giving it a name hello and save and then i'll have to click on run and there are many options but we should just click on run module or just click f5 so we got our answer Hello, let's try to do something else. Let's see, what should we do? Hmm. You can do numerical problems and just see like four space, sorry, let's see, one plus two, we get three. And then we're gonna go with five minus two, we get three. Or we could go for six and slash, slash is actually used for dividing slash 2 we get 3.0 but so there's another way too that uh we can use two slash you know uh, just to get the correct answer for example i'm just writing the same thing that is you know yeah this is multiplication like three multiplied by two and we get six here we get the uh you know no need space part and the double slash tells us that you know it just gives us a specific answer it doesn't gives us any points and a number let's choose some other number um like um, let's think of a number you could do it with any number and you could try it it's not necessary that you should do with this like yeah seven slash two we get 3.5 but if we give seven double slash and then two we just get a simple three so that's all about our python and that's it guys this thing is really simple you don't have to stress or worry about it you just have to think what's in your mind learning computer languages are like the simplest thing if you just you know you follow through it you don't think whoa this is so hard i can't do this just think wow this is really easy and 
um, I'll be showing you next tutorial of the Python later. So I hope you guys understood this and again if you haven't understand anything just go back up the video and listen to it and try to watch the full whole video without skipping so that you might just get the proper answer and proper calculations and that's it guys well and don't forget to like share and subscribe to my